Hi guys, Squirrel here, and welcome to a very first, a very early look at Transport Fever. This is a game that is not released yet, this is early access, and uh, we may see issues. I've certainly seen some issues, particularly around train signalling. Uh, but what I wanted to do today is, in this video, I'm actually going to make a few videos on this so you can get a, a handle on the game before it releases. But what I want to do is show you what the game's about. If you remember... Back in 1994, you know, possibly some of you weren't even born then, but back in 1994, uh, Chris Soy released a game via Microprose called Transport Tycoon, and then he went on to create Transport Tycoon Deluxe. And that game was a business-building empire. And many of the features of that game you're going to see echoing in many other games since, and this is no, uh, this is no different. You know, the whole supply and demand, the, the idea of moving goods and passengers around, uh, very first really came out properly in Transport Tycoon. Transport Tycoon is still um, under development in an open source project called OpenTTD. It's now a multi-platform game. It's still isometric 2D, 3D in its look, uh, whereas Transport Fever, which is this game, is probably not going to be as deep in terms of gameplay. Um, that was a very, very well-established um, game that came out, and it had a very deep gameplay. This one, on the other hand, is graphically uh, amazing to look at. The gameplay side of it, I don't know. I haven't gone into an amazing amount of depth. I've only got a few hours under my belt on this game. But what I'm going to do is show you the basics. We're going to run through this passenger tutorial here, which is going to teach us how to move passengers around. Um, but, you know, you can see already that you've got individuals mm. here. And individual passengers, they this is something that you never really see in transport um, tycoon. Uh, this is more like Planet Coaster in that everybody has individual goals. Some people will choose the fastest route. Some people will go for the cheapest route. You know, they've all got kind of individual aspects to them. If you click on a building, it will tell you information about it. If you click on, for example, a farm, uh, so this is a food processing plant, it will tell you uh, that it takes food in or grain and it will produce food out. It'll also take livestock and produce food out. And it tells you how much is in production and what the limit is. So that's its production capacity. After that, you would have to upgrade it. Uh, every building I've noticed has a general sense of in and out. So the stuff comes in and stuff goes out. Uh, you can see things piling up in the yard here. But what will happen is we start delivering, you'll see that actually happen. Let's click on Start Tutorial. A bus service is all fine and dandy, but before the bus sets off, it'll need to know where it's going. Bus lines are often used for passenger transport within a city. A few steps are necessary to set up such a line. Right, so down the bottom here, you've got this menu, which, which controls road tr uh, track, roads. Um, you've got your trains and buses. You've got your ships and planes. Then you've got terrain modification, the bulldoze tool, over here is the line manager tool. Down the bottom left there, you can turn certain information on or off. And then over this side, you can turn on information like the contouring. So you can get a sense of, you know, how steep the ground is changing, which is very useful when you're laying road and track. Because if you try and, you know, go over bumpy bits, it's going to cost you more money than if you can find a level aspect to it. The, this one here will show you uh, residency commerce and industry so that's like city skylines in the way it colors it which is super useful because that is intuitive already if you've ever played skylines and then this one will show navigable waters which is not terribly useful on this map it's more for later maps i think but it tells you where ships can move to and from top left up here uh you've got the this information box which pops in and out over here you've got a uh you can't really see any information, but it, it turns on and off the overlay information on the map itself. And then any warnings here like, oh, this train is stuck, that would appear here. Uh, top right, you've got save, load, you know, music playlist, settings, and quit. That's briefly the HUD that you're looking at. Let's do what it wants. Let's click on the bus, and then we'll click on the passenger thing, and we'll click on bus tram stop, and we'll go ahead. And I don't forget the drive on the right, so we're going to put the tram stop. Let's think we need to go from here to here. Uh, the cool thing about this game is it will work out the routes for you. All you do is put the stops down like that, and then we'll go and put another stop over here like 
that. The first step has been completed. And then we build now a line. Now we need to make sure that something actually stops at the bus stop. To do this, connect the two stops with a line. Click on the line manager in the menu below and then select new line. The two stops can now be assigned to the line by clicking on the bus stop icons. Okay, so the way this works is you create a new line and then if you've got the add station selected, any station that you select, it will start to add it to the line. You can see it working out the route here. If we now add that one. Next, build a depot. Depots are needed to purchase vehicles. Select the road vehicle depot from the construction menu and build it in the area highlighted in yellow. So when that guy's finished talking, you can see what it's done as it's worked out a route here. Now, if you select more stops, it will build its own route. You don't control the route, unlike, say, Skylines, where you have to say which way to go. In this, you just say, go here, 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 and it works it all out for you. Um, you can't change the order of these things, which is slightly annoying. What you have to do is click on one and then either remove it, or if you click Add Station, it will put it after the one that you've got selected. Um, I would like to see just a simple reordering in this. Maybe that'll come in the retail version, I don't know. Uh, you can also change the color of the line, of course, um, but let's go ahead and build what it wants here. So we click on the road icon, then we click on the depot icon. That gives us a road depot and a tram depot. So we want a road depot. Now, what we need to do is connect this to the road. So if you press the M or the N keys, it will rotate it around like that. And if you press the shift key, it'll do micro rotation like this. So you can get a very fine adjustment. And then you can either just plop it down and then connect it, you know, how you want it on a build some road, or you can just, if you get it close enough, it will just auto connect it like that. Almost there. Now you need to purchase a suitable vehicle. Click on the depot, select buy road vehicle and buy a bus. Right, so we click on the on the depot, you click buy, and then obviously it gives you all the vehicles that you've got. This is still very early, so if you look, 1950 in. It does start back in the late, I think, 1890s is one area you can go for, um, if I remember. When you, when you create a new, ma a new map, a new free play, I think you can start 1890s, 1930s, 1950s, something like that, but don't quote me on that. Uh, here you've got passenger and freight, so if you click passenger... Uh, we've got a very simple bus which has a capacity of eight. It'll tell you its top speed is 25 kilometers per hour uh, and what its running cost will be. Obviously, this is important when you're playing it properly, but all the costs are zeroed out in the tutorials. So let's build um, let's build one of these guys to a 50. Well, it's costing nothing. Why not? The bus driver is just raring to get started. So assign the bus to the line. Click on the line icon in the window that has just appeared and select the line you have just created. So you can just um, click on this and select line, or you can select this and select line. It doesn't make any difference, to be honest. Um, if we choose that one and choose line Very one. Very good. The bus is en route to the first stop, and the first residents have already heard about the new service. Passengers are now heading to the bus stop and are waiting for the bus to travel from their homes, to work, or to go shopping. Wait until the first passenger has traveled from the first stop to the second. So if you notice what the game's basically just made us do, it sets up a route between the residential area and the commerce area. So as it said, it's basically getting people to work. That's what it's doing. So what we can do, uh, and that, again, this is a throwback to um, Transport Tycoon Deluxe, is you can kind of have these pop-out windows and then you can click and follow them. So if you want to just follow the progress of the bus. Now, pay attention to how the traffic management works. Uh, you'll see there's a lot of traffic in this game. There's a lot of people crossing over and uh, You'll see that it's pretty well modeled like the vehicles are giving way to the passengers quite effectively It also means that when the vehicles travel into the busy commerce areas They get stuck in traffic quite a bit and running costs they carry on they don't stop so all the time your vehicles stuck in traffic You're effectively losing money, but that's life, you know I love the way the passengers just flow around the map. Like, they've all got individual goals here. Like, this guy, he will live somewhere, and he's trying to get somewhere. And he's going to try and use your transportation to get there. If not, he's just going to basically walk. But you can see them all flowing quite nicely. They're not kind of clipping into each other. They're all moving around. Look at this. Look at this. That was so cool. Like, the way it found a gap and just went through. So, the modeling and graphics are... I think they're amazing. Like they're, they're proper next-gen, proper 2016 kind of graphics. This is what you would expect from a game, a modding version of this game. Right, so he's made it to the stop. Uh, we can click on the stop. You see nothing waiting here. So uh, what we'll do is we'll speed up time. Press the tab key. 
and we'll let this guy get over there. He will take a bit of time to get there because it is super busy in this area. Um, but he will get over there in a second. Meanwhile, we can click on the bulldozer or press the B key. And if you want, you know, you can just go ahead and destroy things as you would expect the bulldozer to do. Uh, road, you've got small street, medium street, large street, extra streets, and so on. It just keeps on going. There's, there's many choices of road. Uh, six lane road with a speed limit of 100 kilometers. Again, I don't know if this changes later, whether you get more advanced stuff when time moves on. Certainly, you, there are many more vehicles that reveal themselves as it used to in Transport Tycoon. Uh, but as for the actual roads, I don't know. Right, so if you look, he still says passengers 0 of 13. Whenever you put a new station down, um, or a new bus stop, or whatever it is, it takes a bit of time for people to start to accumulate. Um, but you can see now, you should be able to see, there was one passenger waiting, so actually there was three. Three passengers are now on the bus, so it starts to pick up. Um, the way the way it's modelled under the hood is if you can offer a regular transportation system, um, be it goods or people, if you're picking up regularly, moving things around the map regularly, then the game responds to that by delivering more passengers and cargo to your pickup points. Uh, that's particularly important um, when you go up head to head. Now I don't know if there's a multiplayer, I don't know if there's an AI that's going to compete against you, Local I really don't know is yet. Running splendidly. So let's turn our hand to commuter transport. For this purpose, construct a railroad line between the cities. Start by building train stations. Select the passenger station from the construction menu and place one in each of the colored areas. So down here we've got train stations and also if you click, oh we can't click on that yet, but that would, yeah, let's just not do that. We'll do train station and we'll spin it around. We're just going to connect it straight in there, like so. And we're going to head that way. We're going to go from red to green, so I'll orient it this way around. When you put it in, you can see the catchment area that it kind of picks up. Um, if you turn on that one there, you can see that we're going to be picking up uh, passengers on this side, uh, but not this side. So if we were doing this for real, you know, what we might try and do is maybe get our train station in there somewhere and connect a road in, just to try and get better catchments. Otherwise, we're going to have to move people to the train station with buses so that they can actually get there. So we'll just orient this around for now and drop that in. It's pretty horrible to look at, but it doesn't matter. It's in a tutorial. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and build one over here. Now that the local transit is working well, it's time to turn our attention to commuter travel to the next city. Let's lay some tracks. Select the track from the construction menu and connect the two train stations. Okay, so if you click once on this and then... Sorry. If you hold down and then drag it out, Pay attention to the line speed, 120 there. If I start to make a sharp turn, you can see the line speed starts to come down to its minimum, which is 45. So that's important, as is the terrain level. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to build like that, and we'll click yes. And then we're going to build a nice bridge over here. Like that. We'll change the bridge type. Click like that. And then finally... We're going to have connection into here, like that. Let's set up a line whose very name will bring tears to the eyes of commuters. Tears of joy on Friday evenings and tears of sorrow on Monday mornings. Setting up a train line works exactly the same as setting up a bus line. Let's get rid of that. Create a line and add the passenger train stations. Now, notice, <clears throat> notice a few things. Notice that it basically automatically cut out the ground for us. Now that is very different to some other games like Skylines and Transport Tycoon where you would have to uh, modify the terrain before you go in there and build it. In this, it does it for you. If you turn on the contours, like I said, then you can see that there's a contour line there. So what we, you know, what we could have in theory done is try to follow it around a little bit and that would reduce the cost of construction because it wouldn't have to gouge out the land here. This is what puts the cost up. If this gets if this gets too much, if the terrain gets too much, then you know it will cost a lot of money. You'll have to build a tunnel, that kind of thing. But equally, you can level the terrain yourself, so you could smooth and level this out before you came along and built, or just let the game do it for you. I kind of like it when it does this, because 
This looks a bit more realistic. It does the same thing when it's going downhill. It will build the track on an actual um, raised up piece. And I think it looks really nice. Right, create a line to add a passenger train station. So same as before. <clears throat> Let's click on this. Click on new line. We'll click uh, add station. We'll go from here to here. Like now that. you need a train to deploy on the line. Just like road vehicles, trains are purchased at a depot. However, a depot with a rail connection is required. <clears throat> Select the train depot from the construction menu and build it in the area highlighted in yellow. Okay, I don't really know why it wants us to build it here specifically. Um, but whatever, I'm not going to argue with that. But what you do, you click on the depot thing, and then you've got a train depot. Just make sure you orient this the right way around. So we're going to orient it like that. Time to purchase a train to swallow up all those commuters. It's interesting. Click on the depot and select buy train and buy a locomotive with at least one passenger coach. Right. So it's interesting that it tells you to build this but not connect it. So you know, if you went, if you followed the tutorial at this point and just went ahead and bought that train, it wouldn't actually go anywhere. Now this is where it gets fun because um, let me show you something. When you drag it in like that and then click yes, it took me a little while to work this one out. But do you see what's going on here? This track is not connected to this track. You can cross tracks over, and then you can build signals to control the point. Um, but if you're just trying to make a join, this can catch you out, and did catch me out a few times. So what you have to do is you have to get the angle right. You see that? You see it basically snap from a crossover into a feed-in? That's what you need to do. But it doesn't like it because it's too much curvature, so we need to build it again from scratch. But I just wanted to demonstrate that to you. So you make sure you've got the angle shallow enough. And then it actually blends in properly like that. So we could, you know, we can build one going both ways. Why not? It doesn't cost us any money, so we may as well. But whenever you make a join, my advice is always to just double check that it did exactly what you wanted it to do. Because if it doesn't, it'll get you'll get the sign saying no routes where it can't work out how to get onto the track. Right, by train, let's go for something tasty. Uh, if you click on locomotives, you can see what we've got here. We've got 145 kilometer uh, monster. I'm going to take a flying Scotsman because they're they're really nice. 120 kilometers, which is a track speed anyway, so we'll buy one of those. And then we'll go to wagons, and it says at least one passenger car. Cargo type is listed here along with capacity. Uh, let's take, I don't know. Let the journey begin. Let's take Assign three. Assign the train to the line. Massive overkill. So, click on the line icon in the window. The commuters are coming. They're crowding on the platform and are waiting eagerly for the train to take them to the other city. Okay. The train will start to come out now. And this is where you start to see some of the beauty of this game. I mean, seriously, look at the detail here. Just look at the detail. You can actually read on the side, it says Flying Highlander and not Flying Scotsman. But that's just absolutely exquisite. You can even go, if you click on this and then click on the camera, you can even go first person like that. Which is something you could do in Skylines if you had a mod. You can go first person on the vehicles. And it really gives you a sense of driving around your own city. I absolutely love like first person stuff like this. And all I ever wanted to do in these kind of games is to just get in there and feel like I'm a part of the city. Like I'd love to be a passenger and just walk around and get onto one of my own trains like that. It'd be just awesome if you could do that. Okay, so what'll happen is it'll pick up any passengers, it'll reverse itself around. Um, simplistically these these games cheat a little bit in that they just instantly reverse vehicles, um, be it buses or trams or trucks or whatever, they just can just literally 180, which is not realistic, but it does solve an awful lot of problems if, if, uh, if you don't do that. We'll just leave it on this view for a second. In the distance, you can see the draw distance is particularly good, um, but notice the on the left hill, there are some shadows in the trees that are casting down the side of the hill. You can see them flicker around a little bit. I have noticed that on a, like a very steep hill. The shadows get a bit weird. There you go, white right dead ahead there, you see the shadows. But apart from that, the game does look pretty beautiful. I'm getting rock solid 60 FPS, so, you know. 
Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> this is so good. Right, well, stop here. There's no passengers here. You can tell there's nobody there. So we get a medal when we transport our first passengers. So the train comes in, and there's nobody here yet because it does take a bit of time. One thing you can do, though, is create a bus route. Uh, if you create a bus route to get people over here. Let me just show you quickly how you could do that. So we've already got an established bus route. So one of the things we could do is click the line manager down here. Uh, click on line 2. And then where well, we've got Mill Lane, which is this stop here. And then we've got St. John's Road. Let's have it instead go to... Uh, let's click Add Station. And we'll go to um, here. And then let it carry on again. Actually, that might not work because it's not a bus stop. No, no, it won't work because it's not a bus stop. One second, let's put a bus stop down. I'm just getting slightly ahead of the tutorial here, so don't worry about it. Uh, train station. Road depot. Bus tram stop. Let's put one there like that. Let's get rid of this. And then we'll click add station and go, yeah. There you go. So what that'll do is it'll basically move people from here to the train station back to work. So that's a nice little circuit to run through there. That will bring more people to this platform, which of course the train can then move. So the trains are moving things from city to city quite effectively. Uh, we don't have a, a bus route over here, but I don't think the... Let's speed this up. I don't think it requires us to do so. There's one passenger here on this train. And I'm hoping some people will start to accumulate over here at some point. You can actually see them on the platform. That's the thing. So we've got five grand for that guy. Pretty expensive ticket, but there he goes. If you click on him, let me slow it down. If you click on him, destination, he's going to the shop. Uh, details, building, town, move mode, Innsbruck. Ooh, new vehicle available. Lockheed Super Constellation, look at that. Nice. Let me quickly move over here. See if we've got any passengers waiting. There we go, I think there's one. Yeah, there's a few here. So in the way that goods will build up at the at the goods plat at the goods um, stations, passengers will build up at the stations, and you can see them getting on and off the vehicle. So if there's anybody on here, there's no passengers on here. But if there was, you'd see them get off. Okay, they're now on the train, and the train goes back again. Right, let's speed that up. Where's our little bus gone? Yeah, there's still nobody here yet. 10k for that. As a bonus task, you can transport another 10 passengers by train. So if you let this run now, then we'll get a bonus medal for transporting 10 passengers. Uh, make sure the passenger can use the train. For this, there needs to be a bus stop in the catchment area of the train station, which we've done. It's also worth building a bus line in the second city to increase the coverage of the lines even more. All right, so let's go ahead and do that uh, quickly. So what we can do is we go down to the buses and we'll build a road uh, depot which we'll put here doesn't really matter where you put them we'll create bus stops we'll put one um put one here like that turn on the residential thingy and we'll have one there and one over here like that and we'll just move people around simplistically like that Click on the depot, click buy a road vehicle, buy yourself a nice bus. Um, we haven't created a line yet, so I haven't done that. So what I'll do is, because you can just do it from here, you can click new line, and then add station. We'll go for... Actually, let's start him over here. That's a bit... No, let's go station. Continue playing one second. So what you do is click that, click that, click that. And that would create the routes right there. That's it. That's all you need to do. So that bus would now leave. There he goes. And he would move passengers around here to the station. Then the train moves them over here. 
And that's basically um, passenger movement. That's like the simplistic version of passenger movement. Uh, Transport Tycoon Deluxe moved mail around as well. I've not seen any mail yet, but that doesn't mean to say it's not there. You can, of course, move goods around. Whether you can mix goods with passengers, I'm not sure. I would have thought that's a bad idea. It used to be in Transport Tycoon Deluxe, so it probably is in this as well. But there you go. You can see that we've got the medal for that particular tutorial. And um, I think we'll leave it there. That's a, a nice little first look video. Um, I'm going to do some more. In the next one, we're going to look at freight movements and moving goods around um, by train. So stay tuned for that one. Uh, I'll leave a link in the video description to the playlist. Uh, and if YouTube's behaving itself, you might see the playlist on the right as well. But this has been Transport Fever um, Early Access. Hope you like what you've seen so far. Um, I've got very high expectations of this game, but I'm really enjoying myself. That's it from me. Take care, guys. Happy transporting.